He can't, he can't move my arm. Now I can move my arm. So keep the Uke keeps his arms. Keep. So don't don't close. Him. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Don't 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 follow. Right right now, just yeah. He has me like cipher, right? It's a little bit above my shoulders. A little bit wider. Body, body, body. Okay. I can't throw the hook. So once he's <laughs> once he's on that side, so instead of waiting, he strikes. Now he's got the hand in the same spot. So if I hook again, <laughs> so at some point you transition to the inside. <laughs> Can't punch. So hit the opposite arm. When I block him, he's going to this arm. That's over. Now the strike. I have to pull this arm out. He's got that arm. I have to pull this arm out to block him. <laughs> So the way he does it here, he can't get me. I'm too strong. Each under. Stop. <laughs> so he can't get the he knows he can't get the break. So when he punches me, I extend my the arm to go to them, right? I get to it. That's why you need to slap the forearm to release. You're, you're, you're cutting down on his inner forearm, opening him up. Other, otherwise, he gets in the way. Got to, got to cut that arm out. Just because the punch is short in the kata doesn't mean that you don't actually extend it. So when you're doing bunkai, you got to be devising, uh, getting creative, and coming up with new, uh, new ways. All the drills are related to techniques within the kata. He's illuminating details within the kata through these drills. That's okay too. 
So again, this, this distance between his wrist and his elbow. Here, even if he gets me over, I have a chance to block. Once he gets his elbow in, my chance to block decreases. He can't punch from there. And his body is in the position to put his whole body weight into the technique. He's not going to be able to get that punching. My arm is right there. <laughs> so when the pull, he pulls me into the punch. <laughs> so if I pull my arm back from the from the punch, right? He's hitting me. So I pull my arm back. And, and he and he goes with that. Or that's another application, just uh, flipping, flipping the arm out of the way. Just like the move. Hand remains. Yeah. Yeah. Hand remains. Yeah, this is all the opening seeing. And the helping hand is also a defense against the elbow break. Yeah. So he's, don't block like that. He's extending the arm and maintaining his distance. So it removes that, yeah. So even here. He's, he's showing the importance of my here. If you block like that, you'll get a punch over the top or underneath. It's you gotta have that arm extended. Seipai style. So I can hit him, he can hit me, it's block. Distance. Distance. Turning his body. By turning his body and extending his arm, he's opening up his mai. Ending of Gigsai Daichi. Both inside. Strike. I slap. Block. He comes on top. And he pulls back to strike again. Back to the inside. Strikes. I block. On top. Practice coming over with the elbow. I'm going to naturally block the elbow. He's on both now. There's no block. I try to block here. That's the key right there, the depth of his elbow. He's gaining distance. See how he's gaining distance on me. <laughs> From that distance. If, if, if Sensei doesn't mind punching in the arm, he thinks it's cool. So you have to block. <laughs> so now, now he's got the shot. Right. If he stops his block only here, punch what's open, which happens to be his arm. Yeah, yeah. Make sure he punches completely and blocks his whole body. So this arm's stopping this arm the first time. So you're naturally left, right, left, right, left, right. If you don't get this arm, I'll pull it out. So when he gets blocked, he goes down on top of that arm. Now I can't block with that arm. I'm left with just one arm to block this. And if he pulls it back, he's opening up. And if he doesn't pull it back, he takes the outside. <laughs> It's an application of the double punch at the end <laughs> as a one-two. Based off of the double hikyuke, doing open, close, trap, and then inside. Slap down, pull, back, back. 
So not grabbing the lower hand, but guiding it. Super <laughs> Using the rotation of the wrist, watch his wrist, how he's rotating around. So the hand is taking the hand down. The first hand of the block is a strike, brings the other hand up. So don't forget that right hand coming up. He's using that as well. People often, they, they think they're just doing one technique. Sanchin, Sanchin, close. Close. Open, close. Punch. Punch, punch. Open, close. Just do this drill. Open, punch, punch. It's the opening. Oh. Application of the same idea we're doing where you slap the arm and strike. Yep. Out of open close. Oh, here, yeah, it's a better. It's a better block. So since I said, you know, when you're doing this exercise, Sunshine ends up being a better block for me. If, if, I, if I block here, he just can pull me back and hit again. Coming with the Jodanski over your Jodan Uke down into Gedan Barai. Next is Jodan. So see that Joe down from the outside, Joe down from the inside. Right hand is coming up on in the inside. So you're using the jodan to actually hook and pull on the arm as you punch with the other. So there's the retraction and the non-retraction. No. 
Doesn't like the retraction. Just punch and extend. Don't pull back. No, don't stand there with your retracted hand. Chudan same. Block simultaneous strike. Without retraction, not pulling back. He showed you the exercise, right? That he was just doing. And then showing you it in Kata. To the to the game. So he's not retracting that Jodan's right into Gaidan without a retraction. Let's try this. Just like the drill we were doing. By taking the elbow with your other hand, you're able to maintain that distance. Turn. So he's, he's showing the move that he was just showing, taking closing distance with the elbow, doing a shto from that side, and then immediately hikyuke and shto to the other side which is going back to the drill that we were doing 10 minutes ago. Closes the distance. Immediate shto, shkyuke shto. If he gets his whole body now in front of me, this is something we did yesterday too. He gets his whole, remember, in cycle, yes, same. Now he's just using it It's the same movement. So if I'm putting people pulling their arm out, it's... <laughs> <laughs> It's the same thing too. I have to pull my arm out, <laughs> and then it ends up being a really bad block. You make a start thinking on your own. Watch it. He's gonna. As I'm giving him, a, I have all this, and he just collapsed my knee. Uh, If you hit from like this, so you strike with both and you go away from the side that, that found contact. 
So you don't want to turn into where he is. You want to rotate around. So as soon as you know where he is, go the other way. He's saying, if you just try to counter with a punch from that position, with your leg extended, you can't do anything. You got to come down on his arm and, and reposition yourself. So that as, as your leg is retracting, actually your whole body is moving forward. Just a, just a, little, a little step. So that's my right foot. Right. Right. Yeah. You're doing a hikioke to your left. Which is pulling him towards your left and you're blocking his... And that's different, that's stepping in deep and using the inside of his knee as the blocking portion. And th then you can also scoop the foot on top of that. Usually for an Ashibarai, people, they, they try and do that. Yeah. Three, three step process. From open position. So he's saying from open position, you don't want to cross your own forearms. So it's applying the drill we were doing earlier with the hikiukes but going all the way into a mawashiuke or a toraguchi. He, he can't struggle to, to, to force that lower arm up. So instead, he strikes to the face, which brings the arm up. He's going to try to bring this arm up. He cannot do it. That doesn't make sense to do that. Can't do that. So, so instead, he throws the strike in to make him raise his arm, and then he does the chudan. Stop it, stop it. Stop <laughs> Ending up in the strike position. Kake to Urauchi position, the strike position. Exactly what we're doing, but on the last. So he's just showing you now how that exercise. Out, 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 out. Marsh, you okay? My own. <laughs> to the end of the drill that ju we've just been doing, he's taking the wrist. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> 
and, and in order not to get punched <laughs> by the other hand, you got to make sure that you're locking. Go for it. Punch is going to come. Don't block it forearm to forearm. You what? You can't strike. You got to get under his elbow to be able to lift him up and open the groin and get him to that position. The slice. So this is coming up under his elbow. There. So this, as he's coming up to block him, he's using that. And then he just step. Then he just steps in. Slicing, see, keep not hitting, he keeps slicing my arm. Just moving my arm, it doesn't take any strength. <laughs> If you need clarification on that move, he's doing it over and over right here. He's saying you don't you don't want to be striking forearm to forearm. From the groin strike, he's just going under the elbow, which is giving him leverage, spinning spinning Chuck around. Here it's just power on power. He says no, just. Now he's moving into the next move. <coughs> he's got to he's got to use both arms to make sure he doesn't get an elbow in the face. Above my elbow. So if he steps away, he's just attacking the closer yeah. leg from behind the knee. And that's the classic, he smacks, he blocks, just take it out, smack again. Take it out, smack again. Boom. He can, he can stop. He and can actually he can, lock his arm down. So he's going to, now I'm having a problem. You, you can, uh, I can't come up, he's holding me, I can get punched. So when he comes around, he just, he, this hand is loose, so he can... Saying, don't wrap your left arm around the opponent, because it'll get locked down. Leave it open, leave it open, use the leverage Use the leverage here instead of wrapping in here to allow freedom of that forearm to come up. He's got his elbow, my elbow is If, if oh. <laughs> There's always that in case that he did do the wrong thing. If he's pushing that way and it's a struggle, he just changes direction. And it's the same as that Jumbiundo, where you're dropping into Shikodachi. Same move with the hip, coming up. Now you're going to push down against that, steps out of the way. You lead him one way, lead him back the other way. Push down tight on him. He can hit me, which is the first concern. <laughs> this is all applying the Jumbiundo Shikodachi. Open. Open. Tighten, everything closes. No. 
Not like that. It's open and then everything closes tight. Close open and that's what he's applying in this technique. It keeps this one tight. So why are you stepping? You're stepping out of the way to give yourself room to attack the target. That's the concept. Stepping to the side to open the window. He's saying when you make that next move, you're not standing up completely. Maintain that position and come into it. Come up and around. You can't finish right there by locking up, but he's following. So from the open, just switch hands. Straight. This is the drill. This is what we're doing yesterday. So now instead of striking with from here like he was doing, this hand is coming around. You just come straight in with Toraguchi from that side. What he did was he just brought the Toraguchi all the way around. Does it need you get to the outside? Strikes. To the other side. reason why he's saying why 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 are you doing the the pato punch why do you do yeah so he's saying not a pull back strong punch you want to do it just right from their bang kind of like just extending like the kind of punches we were doing before class this kind of sideway punch yesterday is what you're doing right Punch, punch. <laughs> he can't do it here. I'm too tight. So now he comes up to get room, and then he does it. 
Now I'm going to a cipher example. If you if you do that, he's going to step. No, no. So, by hyperextending the knee, he's going to force him forward. You push on one, he's going to step with the other. That's his defense. And opposite. So if you go after the front, he's going to step forward. You go for the back, you pull him down to the empty space. So then you switch it, go to the inside, and back to the outside. Here you go, back to the outside. Inside change and change it at your own discretion. Yeah, so he blocks a line. He doesn't block my fist. Yeah, that exercise you were doing, right? That's point to point. Uh, so you're trying to... <laughs> That's line to line. So the difference between trying to push up there with intensho on one point and having contact with whole forearm and wrist. So as much contact as possible there. There it's point to point. There it's. Then here's, he's rotating the elbow. I mean not elbow, uh, forearm. Get into that position. Basically, you have to open, break the elbow, twist him around, and go over the. Uh, 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 uh. He's just open. You're 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 at close, so he's just opening. Well, inside the kind of post. Now he's got when the you, elbow. When as soon as you find your opponent cringing or tightening up just slap So you're twisting in. He's twisting in the same direction as closing down Sanchin, elbowing. So you're coming up under with the left and so forth. And you can. You cannot. I, I'm, the door's open this direction, right? My balance is. I can't go that way. So he's saying people often think you put that arm over your back, you're going to go straight. His weak point is actually moving sideways to the left. Yeah. Just go left. <laughs> With a combination to it's the same move that we don't have. From strike position. Strike position. 
So you do another strike. Still strike position, just going. Okay. Strike. Strike. Just rotating. Unbelievable. <laughs> Unbelievable. So from stake, same strike position, he's just grabbing the the lower hand and bringing it up, with the, but not fighting it. He's not. He's not. So if you reach this position, you can't do anything. You just strike to the groin. If he's fighting you, just don't. Just stop right there and go to the groin strike. And, and, if he releases his arm, there, then you go straight into the one. Yeah, right, right. 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 You can just adapt to that, yeah. You can, you can also just come around. Kata is one side, but you could but you can use it on the other side. He for him. So instead of just cracking down, making one strike, it's back to that line idea where he's blocking down the arm. Punishing him. Yeah. You can't do that from there. Strike a slant, boom. Here's the uppercut. Open, uppercut. So I can block, right? You start here. And instead of switching to get on Barai, he's switching to taking the arm. Switch arms. Switch arms. He can't get in, he can't open from that position. He's, he's stuck. Smack. Open. So you can just look at it as how he has to react depending on where your opponent's arm is. He can't do it. With my arm up, this arm up, he can just come in and do it. He's there. But the other right. arm up, that right. doesn't work because the arm, the arm is striking down. I'm punching this way across. I might punch inside though. If I punch inside, then he uses the block as an inside block and it goes straight to game. So the second movement of the block is coming down. <laughs>
as I come to block, it just pushes it past. Right? I'm going to block it, I think. <laughs> 